According to reports, Mattia Binotto and Charles Leclerc have not been in talking terms since Silverstone. That news right there is tempting us to wonder whether Charles Leclerc is about to leave Ferrari anytime soon. Toto Wolff expressed his interests on Charles driving for the Silver Arrows some time ago, so could there still be any chance of Leclerc driving for Mercedes in the future? Within the next nine minutes, let's analyze every possible situation and find out the possibilities of a switch from Ferrari to Mercedes for Charles Leclerc. But before we dive deep, please do like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications bell to be made aware of our future uploads, as we have plenty for you to keep watching during this Formula 1 offseason. Let's all first take a look at the reasons which would actually provoke Charles Leclerc to leave Ferrari for another team, shall we? Charles Leclerc and Ferrari started the 2022 season on a positive note, winning the season opener with a 1-2 finish and winning at Australia. On both these races, Max Verstappen did not finish the race, suffering mechanical and power unit failures. The Dutchman won the second round of the season, at Jeddah. At this point, Leclerc had a 46-point advantage over Max at the Drivers' Championship. Despite all of that, Max Verstappen claimed his second world title in the 2022 season, claiming another record to his name by winning the championship while trailing his closest rival by a huge number of points. This might be the first and the biggest reason why Leclerc may decide that enough is enough, especially after his team has made numerous terrible shots, be it strategy or car development choices. Charles Leclerc suffered reliability retirements at Baku and Barcelona, whereas Carlos Sainz ha retirements at Baku in Austria, where his engine actually caught fire. These reliability problems did play a big part in the championship, but Charles won't be happy with how Ferrari played strategy shots at Monaco, Silverstone, Budapest or even at Brazil. His team left him out at Silverstone, playing wrong calls on strategy, it was a chance where Leclerc was able to cut a lot of points from Max last season. Instead of capitalizing from the second safety car by opting to pit for some soft tires, the Ferrari team missed to pit Charles Leclerc. Cause of that, Leclerc lost out from P1 to P4, where Verstappen finished P7. And we had that infamous photo of Binotto pointing his finger towards Leclerc, telling him not to talk to the media about the Silverstone outcome. And many suspect that this was the boiling point of their relationship, already screwing up results at Monaco with the same kind of mistake. At Budapest, they pitted Leclerc for hard tires, but they should have known that the hards won't work as the Alpines were main proof. But insisting on the hard tire made their drivers to lose positions to both Red Bullas and both Mercedes drivers. Charles Leclerc started that race at P2, but finished P6, whereas Max started the race P10, but finished P1. At Brazil, Leclerc was the only one on the intermediate tires, cause his team believed of heavy rain at turn 12. I think the real reason for Ferrari putting Leclerc on the inters would have been because the place was called Interlagos, and not Slicklagos. Who knows, anything can be a reason. Because, the other nine drivers did a soft tire run in Q3, Leclerc was the only one doing a not-needed lap on the inters, and he was called for a change of tires, exactly the moment he passed the pit lane. All these mistakes have been coming from the team, the strategists especially. The ones we mentioned are only some of the pool of mistakes Ferrari made this season. So think of the points Charles Leclerc lost due to those mistakes, that would provoke a driver to seek alternatives, if the problems are not taken care of, right? But not only these mistakes were made, Leclerc was made to fight on the last race for the runners-up spot in the Drivers' Championship at Abu Dhabi. He did win that race, but that is not the level of confidence that he deserved, ending this season. Now that we have talked about the main incidents, it's obvious that there are massive changes to be made within the Ferrari team, but many defend Binotto and think that he is not the one to be sacked from the Italian team. It is an understandable situation, where the team's lead driver and the team principal are in no good terms of whatsoever. This can lead to two possible outcomes. One outcome being that Ferrari sacks the Ferrari strategy team with Binotto included. That could be a reality as there are rumors of Binotto being replaced by Federic Vassour. If that does not happen, the second outcome would be that Binotto stays, and the team fails to build a healthy relationship between Binotto and Leclerc. Leclerc will just pass his level of patience and take the option of leaving for a racing seat offered by another top team of the Formula 1 grid. As we said before, rumors of Binotto being sacked from Ferrari is surfing more and more online, but the Italian team did defend in favor of Binotto, calling those rumors as baseless. The team, by that release statement, is confident to move on with Binotto on their side, cause he was able to take the team back to the winning ways, after the engine misery they went through in 2019, 2020 and 2021. But, he did raise the hopes of the Tifosi within the first three races of the season, which is why the 2022 outcome is such a disappointment for the Ferrari fans. Ferrari has done better than the previous two seasons, but, the bar was set high. 
finishing seconds is not what the fans or the drivers expect when they had a car to fight for the championships. Leo Torini thinks that changes within the team will not bring more success to Ferrari. Leo also believes that Ferrari has not won a championship for too long, while they have been sacking and changing staff over and over and nothing has worked out for them. Change is not a guarantee of victory. Red Bull is behind and our Ferrari still loses anyway. John Elkin will surely point out to Mattia Binotto the 1-2 finish of Mercedes in Brazil. There are a lot of discussions and it is inevitable to be so. The world championship has been missing from Ferrari for too long. But that would be a mistake. Why? Since 2008 Ferrari has passed from Jean Tot to Stefano Domicali, from Marco Mattiacci to Maurizio Arrivebin. The result? Zero Ticcioli, to put it as Jose Mourinho. Changing just for the sake of change is never a guarantee of victory. And the 2023 car is already finalized. But I want to be frank, Mattia Binotto must remain as Ferrari boss only if he has the full confidence of the top management. So, Binotto has his defense that makes us move on to the next direction. The next direction would be Leclerc leaving the Ferrari team for a racing seat from one of their rivals. Leclerc has a contract till the end of 2024 season, and this contract was extended back in 2021. What is making us think about a Leclerc move leaving Ferrari is that initially, it was reported that Leclerc will make a deal with Ferrari to stick with the Italian team till 2026. But that did not happen. That does make us wonder if Leclerc had any other plans while extending a deal with Ferrari. Charles Leclerc has proven to be a driver who does carry the qualities of winning championships, but to point out, Leclerc did lose somewhere like 32 points by his own mistakes, such as he crash at Paul Ricard. But had it been the team calling the right shots, making proper decisions and calls in the proper times, Leclerc would have finished the season on a better shot than of what he was able to. Out of the 2022 season, Leclerc has learned one thing, never to rely on his team at any given instance, which Max Verstappen has been able to do while he won both of his championships. Now, there is one team that Leclerc could hop on in 2024 if all pans out properly to him. And that team is Mercedes in 2024, but it is now rumored that Hamilton intends to extend his stay at Mercedes with a multi-year contract for at least five more years. Rest assured, if the Silver Arrows have the need and get a chance to sign Leclerc, the Brackley-based squad definitely will make that work. And for one thing, Hamilton will be more than happy to step down and make way for a youngster who is still hungry to win championships. This rumor, or idea, or whatever you would like to call it, came from the El Quip interview which happened with Charles Leclerc. They was straight enough to ask Leclerc the question directly. Leclerc first told that 2024 is a long way ahead, but his first objective is to win with Ferrari before considering other options. 2024 is a long time away and there is still a little time left at Ferrari. This team has always been my dream. My objective at the moment is to win with Ferrari and then we'll see. I am very happy with Ferrari and I want to win with them. At the latter part of that interview, Leclerc was more onto a move which he might make, but implied only if things don't work out good at Ferrari in the next few years. And, we know exactly that Binotto and Leclerc are not having a blooming relationship at the present moment. And that could lead to Leclerc leaving the Italian team at some point, to a team that has experience on winning championships. Don't get me wrong, Ferrari has had that experience a lot, they are the longest-lasting Formula 1 team, but the last championship they won was at 2007. But Mercedes dominated the sport for eight straight years, and if the opportunity is offered to Leclerc, he will have a lot of thinking and decision-making to do. The Italian team could try to keep Binotto, while they fire their strategy team, to satisfy Charles, but we know how good of a team Mercedes is and how much of interesting strategy calls they have played out. When we consider both teams and Leclerc's point of view, the problem he has is wrong shots being played out by the team, and the team which has done the best strategy games will be Mercedes. So, I think, if Leclerc is presented with the opportunity, he will have a hard time of refusing it, according to the present situation. And according to Toto Wolff, they won't mind poaching Leclerc from Ferrari, and that explains the whole situation surrounding this matter. So, what do you guys think? Will we ever see Charles Leclerc driving a Mercedes, or will Leclerc stick with his dream team, Ferrari? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to know why Daniel Ricciardo chose the reserve driver role at Red Bull, rather than a racing seat in the 2023 grid? Watch the video shown on your screen now.